Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my fashion wish list items, which I thought was really a fun video idea. This was a requested video and I love it because it's basically like a Pinterest board in a video format. And I love to just hear about like what people are aspiring for, what are their dream products, because a lot of times the products tend to be very classic styles, things that you know that you would have in your wardrobe forever, or things that would just really fit with a certain type of style. For mine, it's <laughs> very feminine and girly. By the way, today I'm wearing this dress from Self Portrait, <laughs> just for this um, fun occasion. But yeah, I love Pinteresting. I Pinterest <laughs> pretty much every single day. I really love just getting inspired and wishing and dreaming and it's looking at these things that make us want to work harder you know it gives us something to work towards these items are not the type of thing that I would go out and buy on a whim they're all definitely wish list items because they are in that <laughs> category of luxury really a lot of them so yeah, let's just dream today and I'm going to take you through my wish list. So first start with handbags. Of course, my ultimate dream handbag to get one day is the Chanel Classic Flap. Specifically in the more beige neutral color with gold hardware and the medium size. I don't want too big, I don't want too small, I just want like an everyday handbag size where you could take it to dinner, you could take it out sightseeing with you during the day, you could take it, dress it up or down, just really wear it in all occasions. I used to think that my dream bag was the black one because I was really kind of conforming to what everyone else was doing, but you guys can see that I am a girly explosion all the time <laughs> and the neutral tones just go so much more with my wardrobe. So I really, really want that one. The prices have gone up in these from Chanel every year, so it is a good investment, I guess. Next in the bag category is the pink Lady Dior bag. These bags are so like ultra feminine and girly and a classic Dior bag that's been around for a long time. I love the quilted pattern, I love the little Dior charms on it, I love the little handles and I am someone who owns I think <laughs> mini pink bags is probably the, the bag that I own the most of because like I have a tiny Kate Spade one and then I have a tiny one from Repetto that I got but Dior is the ultimate upgrade to those. So, really want that one. That's one of my wish list for such a long time. And then the Celine box bag. So, this is more Parisian. I like it in the brown color. This is more of like a casual day, but it's actually secretly super, like a super elevated bag. Uh, I've seen more people recently have been wearing the ones with the actual Celine logo on it, but the one with the simple buckle is actually more classic. I think recognizable, like if, if you know of it, and it's like a nice leather. I just think that it's the type of bag that I could never see going out of style and that I just think would look really nice with my wardrobe in the, mostly in the fall and the winter because it's more of like a, you know, that brown leather sort of a style. All right, now moving on to shoes. So in the shoes category, Jimmy Choo just came out with this line of pearl shoes. And I just think that they're the most beautiful things I've ever seen, truly. They are just totally decked out in pearls. They're white, they're heels, they're ultra feminine. Um, I love the little details on the toe. It's just so beautiful. And don't even know an occasion where I would wear these. It would probably be more of a special occasion. I would definitely baby them if I did have them. The streets are new, of New York are, are dirty. So, um, but I would just love to even just look at them. Like they would be an art piece to me, honestly. Like people collect art, I would collect <laughs> shoes like this. Similarly, Jimmy Choo also came out with these crystal embellished shoes. To me, this is the Cinderella shoe. <laughs> If Cinderella were living in the year 2022, 
I think that these are the shoes that she would wear to the ball. They are just gorgeous, so sparkly. Like, they did them in lots of other colors too, but I think that these ones are just like the ultimate Cinderella shoe. And uh, if I ever had like a really special moment to wear something like that, those would be the shoes that I would go for because they are so gorgeous. All right, and then moving on from like those like ulti ultimate like heels, just like an everyday sort of a shoe. For me, I really love ballet flats. I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'7", so I can't wear heels every day, although I would love to. So I like to find flats that are really, really gorgeous and like more maybe more embellished or something there's uh, a very classic shoe from chanel it's just the plain chanel ballet flat the neutral and the black toe very classic chanel i do have them in the little pump so those are fun too but yeah just in the flat i think would be really great i love the ballerina style too as you guys know i did do ballet and i love the whole ballet aesthetic look so i own many ballet flats and the chanel ones would just be the ultimate addition to my closet and then i also really want to get a pair of the repetto ballet flats they are like an actual ball ballet brand they sell point shoes and tutus and other things and then they also make everyday shoes they're a french brand they have lots of stores in paris they did one have one in new york but it shut down during the pandemic before i got a chance to go so sad if i get to go to paris again i would love to pick up a pair of repetto flats Similarly to Repetto, in here in New York, we have Margot, which also is a really nice brand of shoes. They have like very nice leather flats. They're around like the two to three hundred dollar range, so not crazy in comparison to a lot of these other wishless items, but they are a really nice pair of flats that I think would last really well and be a really good kind of staple addition to my closet. I'm not sure what color I want yet, but probably something just like neutral or pink <laughs> and then for the winter time i have really been wanting a pair of moon boots i know that's kind of funny but each year in the winter i look and then they're already all sold out in all of the good colors so i really want to get a pair for this year for when lyle and i go on a little ski trip and just any time that it we get snowfall here in new york or Anything else in the winter time where you would need like a solid good pair of boots. I really want a pair of moon boots. There's a couple different ones that I have my eye on, but I'm also trying to put together like a full ski outfit look. So um, yeah, uh, it's going to depend on what the, the ski pants color is and the ski jacket color is. And then I'll get the moon boots to match this whole look. <laughs> All right, now moving on to clothing, which I feel like is a really fun one. There is a dress from Sanse that has feathers on the top and it's silk on the bottom. And it just reminds me so much of socialite elite girls that I have seen at all of these New York Fashion Week events. I just want to be invited to an event and wear this gorgeous dress. Is that the type of dress that I would wear to an event like a wedding or something? Because I feel like it's a little too embellished. But like a fun party, like like an evening party or something, I would totally wear this dress and just wear it with heels and get my hair done. And I just feel like it's such a fun dress and I loved it ever since I first saw it come out a couple years ago. They're not selling it anymore, but there's some places like eBay or the real real where you can find it. But oh, I just think that it's so cute clothing wise. Okay, next, now that we're coming into the fall and winter, there are two coats from a brand called Nana ja Jacqueline that are really girly and feminine, but they're very high price range. So one is a white one. It is a tie belt and it has like sort of, um, I don't know what you would call it at the top, it kind of comes out. And I just think that it would be so elegant wearing that in Christmas in New York, just walking around and seeing all of the windows and doing my holiday shopping and going out to <laughs> hot chocolate with a friend or something. I don't know, I just really love it. I think that it's like an elegant woman coat. And then there's another one also from the same brand that is pink that I feel like is just really fun and I could see myself running around in New York in the wintertime in this. 
so clearly it has a pink bow at the back and it is just super pink and when everyone else is walking around in like boring puffer coats that you know are dark colors and it's all depressing in winter i really want to wear this bright pink dress and make everyone smile and just i don't know have fun in it i've also seen from some of my favorite youtubers freddie and then Josie, Josie recently, they got the Santini coats and those also look the same. Very elegant woman, beautiful coats. Same price range as the Nana Jacqueline. And yeah, I just need to narrow it down to which one I would like because I think there's a couple that I like. Okay, Love Shack Fancy. I should just put any dress from Love Shack Fancy on this list because you guys know that I absolutely love them. I think they are my favorite brand just because the sheer love of pretty much every single thing that they put out. But there is a one dress that has my eye on it right now at least. There's been a lot of dresses that have come and gone from Love Shack Fancy that I've loved. But there's one right now called the Maline dress. It is pink sequin with like floral patterns on it. It's like a fun party dress. I just feel like you put this on and it's a showstopper dress. It's beautiful and I think that anyone wearing it would ha just <laughs> feel really good in it. Okay, and then lastly for clothing, when I was at the Pat Bow show, well, not at it, but outside of it taking photographs, <laughs> there was a girl who was wearing one of the new new collections from the Spring Summer 23 for Pat Bow. It was a feather dress with a big flower kind of like applique on the front and then the back was like a pearl strap and i just thought it was the most beautiful dress and when you go to their website it's like the image that when you first enter the site is a, an image of this dress so it's like yeah that's definitely a, a as an outstanding dress so yeah again i feel like a lot of these items are like party dresses but those to me are just like the most fun and beautiful i love casual everyday clothes too but i really really like the like fun beautiful dresses i don't know it's just it is what it is oh and there's also i didn't even put this on my list but zimmerman has this skirt that is like a tiered pink skirt i'll see if i can find a picture of it I, it's from like an older collection but i did see it at intermix last this past summer but it's it's also really really pretty i just think like this to me i feel like you could wear just every day because it's like a linen-y fabric you know zimmerman's fabrics are mostly like that linen so that's why i feel like it, you could wear it during the day in the spring or summer but i also feel like Paired with the right top, you could probably wear it at night too for some fun party event. I need to be invited to a lot of parties for all these dresses that I want to wear. Alright, now moving on to the last category, which is accessories. So there's this pair of Chanel white tights. I feel like for the fall and the winter, that would be super cute to pair with a skirt or a dress more in like the kind of preppier sort of like that old money aesthetic look you know like the academia whatever all those tiktok aesthetics one of those looks but yeah it's like they're like a sheer white with the tiny chanel logos all over the tights and i think that they are so adorable and i feel like they would fit great in my super girly wardrobe so those are super fun sunglasses there is a pair of sunglasses from celine that i've seen that are really nice they are they're like an oval shape and they have the celine logo on the side i think that they are beautiful something about them just seems sort of like i don't know if it's a 60s vibe or what era i'm like really thinking of but I just see that with a red lip and like hair back in a ponytail and it just looking really kind of like mysterious. I don't know. I just feel like they are the ultimate sunglasses. They have them in black and then they also have them in like a brown sort of more tortoisey um, kind of a shade that's a little bit lighter. So I actually don't know which one I would like better. I feel like I need to try on both. Another accessory, there's a Chanel umbrella, which I feel like would be really cool. 
especially again if you're going to an event and you don't want to ruin your outfit you can have like a chic little umbrella or even just like I don't know I'm just picturing like fun photograph ideas in either the spring when it's like raining something moody or the fall as well like a fall sort of a rain with this umbrella I don't know I just feel like it would be a really good idea so yeah I don't know I feel like I'm telling like spilling to you guys all of my future plans <laughs> or all of my ideas of like things that I want to buy and wear and feature okay next is a Celine belt so I need to get a nice kind of looking um, but like belt <laughs> I only have like a plain black patent one from J crew that I got like a while ago but I need like a nice brown skinny belt there's one from Celine that I really want because I feel like if I have say more of like a looser linen white dress or something for the the summertime that I just want to create a more of a waist or a shape on it's nice to cinch it in with a belt or there's so many other great ways that you can do a belt you can do it over a blazer or just anything really earrings from Jennifer Bear I love so many of her earrings I feel like especially like in the winter time with a nice chunky sweater and then you have like statement earrings it's really cute like if you're trying to be really warm but you don't yeah you want to look chic but you're not trying to compromise on being really warm like a chunky chunky nice sweater and then like statement earrings jennifer bear has got you covered or for an event or something too i keep coming back to that but yeah i love a lot of her earrings i really want to get a pair and then the very last thing is luggage from Steamline. So I have my luggage down here that I got from Amazon, which is a nice odd uh, dupe. But the Steamline luggage is the ultimate luxury cute luggage. So there's one, I think it's called the Sweetheart line. I might be wrong, but there it's like cream and white and there's a whole collection. They even have like a circular one. Yeah, that's so pretty. I mean, it's not the type of luggage that you can just check on an airplane because they really throw around your bags and ruin them. But it's like if you were going on a weekend trip where you're just putting it in the back of the car and you can make sure that it's taken care of or something like that. Um, I just think that it's really pretty. All right, so that is it for my virtual Pinterest board. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Are there any items on your virtual Pinterest board that you've been eyeing that are on your wish list and are kind of your ultimate dream items to get? Let me know what they are because I always want to know like what are the most classic items out there if you're like I have been saving up and wanting a Cartier watch or something for example like what are the ultimate things? I know like People love those like Cartier love bracelets. I feel like those are too overdone at this point. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like everyone has them so it's a little less special. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Definitely, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos so we can talk more girly fun things. And check out the Fashion Squirrel as well as always over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay.